My name is Stephen Nchama Ryoba. I'm a social worker working with Salishans of Don Bosco in Kenya. Uh, this work of street children started uh, by Salishans of Don Bosco working in Nairobi in 1990. Uh, this is the initial stage where we started uh, this work. Uh, the priests and brothers, Salishans, used to come at group cinema, meet the children, play with them, conduct the games. Then thereafter, they put this structure here to give them a room where they can come and rest, have a meal, and uh, play games. Then after that, they go back to the street. The first Salishans who started this program were Father Job Brabu, Father Babu, Augustine, and other priests who helped them to start up this. It was in cooperation with Unduku Society of Kenya. Unduku Society uh, also helped because before Don Bosco, Unduku Society of Kenya was existing. So they got, they got um, information and uh, strategies of how to conduct street work from Ndugu Society of Kenya. So here we could take children from the streets, they come here and have learning, informal learning. Then they take meals. Then when days went on, the, the children, the number of children increased. They, therefore it was a need for the to, to look for how we can support them. Because they had uh, completed the rehabilitation program and informal learning. So we looked for a formal setup of learning. We went to Mrangarot Primary School where some children were in enrolled. Some came to uh, Parklands Primary School so in the morning they used to go to primary school, then they come, after school they come to, to this place to sleep. Then we had a problem of getting water and other facilities. So we had to walk from here up to Upper Hill to take shower and clean up our clothes, and then come back and organize at other activities here. So people from Loc uh, from the local area used to give us food to keep the children surviving here. So as time went on, as time went on, we, we, we transferred other children to uh, Bosco Boys Quinda, Don Bosco Primary. Then also we shifted this place to Bosco Boys Langata as a reception center. Uh, now this place currently is uh, handling children from the slum and also children from, from the nearby streets who come and uh, interact with the past pupils of Bosco boys uh, who went through the program and they tested the, uh, the, the goodness of the solutions and now they are helping. Uh, some of the small ones to meet their uh, basic needs. Teaching them music and also meeting them uh, uh, about psychosocial activities. Salishans of Don Bosco currently are uh, assisting many, many, many children in Kenya. Uh, there are those in the rehabilitation program, there are about 50. Then in primary school, there are more than uh, 250. Uh, in secondary school, there are more than 120. And uh, technical school, uh, there are 10. And in the university, there are, there, are, there are 30. This program, I was approached by Father Job Rabu uh, after meeting him in the old Utume and near DBS, it's currently called DBS. He called me to come and uh, assist him to start. I found that these children need help. These children need 
a lot of uh, love. They need a lot of attention than any other person. So I committed myself uh, from that time up to now. Uh, but how is this work done? The rescue children from the street are three stages. Stage number one, you have to uh, you have to go to the street and interact with this, uh, these children in the street, make them friends, and when they open up, they are able to communicate to you. Then you take some other steps to know where they come from. You visit their homes and the school they were attending before. When you go to their homes, you try to make some uh, need assessment about the child and about the family. You try to find out what is missing in this family which makes this child to go to the street. This child was in the school. How comes he left school and went to the street? You make need assessment. You make all the necessary uh, uh, needs uh, pertaining to that child. Then from there you make some other intervention. You don't force these children to live street, work, street, street life. You only help them, you facilitate them, you make them learn and understand themselves. You create self-awareness among themselves. They see their problems. After they have seen and discovered their problems and they own their problems, then they are in a position to s decide their destiny. You don't force them to live street life. Uh, once the parents, caregivers, and the children have realized their problems, now you ask them what plan they have for this particular child that you've identified in the street. If they say that this child needs to be rescued, taken to school, taken to a better place, now you, you, you make some intervention of seeing how you can refer this child to a place where he can be helped. This is the first stage. Second stage, you, you take this child for a rehabilitation program. In the rehabilitation program, this child is introduced in variety of activities such as counseling program, activities of assimilating this child to uh, a setup of uh, learning groups like uh, learning informal uh, activities, uh, games, animation activities, to assimilate this child to, to, to see that there is another better life compared to the, 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 initial, the uh, initial life that he had in the street. So in the rehabilitation you keep on following the child individually. You, because you've already discovered the problems of this child, you keep on monitoring, uh, following the family, uh, meeting all the necessary needs of this child, uh, all aspects. Uh, this means that you have to target intellectual uh, aspect of the child, interact of the child, aspirate, spirit aspect, uh, psychosocial aspect, and all uh, needs of the child, education, and also you you join with the you also join with the the, the, the care uh, taker. Uh, you also uh, make sure that uh, the caregiver is capable in meeting the needs of this child uh, because you don't transfer that problems of the family to you. You don't own their problems. The caregiver has to come up with the solutions uh, pertaining to that child's problem. There are various challenges uh, considering this uh, activity. The first one is lack of sufficient funds. Because this program needs a lot of funds to make sure that the child meets the, the needs and also the family, economic, uh, especially the economic status of the family. Another challenge is about the security. Some places you cannot uh, go. 
you, you are scared because they, uh, there's, uh, there, there are some senior boys who they are difficult for them to change. So it can, they can rob you everything and uh, it is not easy for, uh, for somebody to, 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 to enter into several places. Another challenge is, uh, is uh, the gap between the government and the poor, the, the rich and the poor. There, 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 there is no equity when, uh, when it comes to resources. If you are rich, you, you are in a position to grab as much as you can. But if you are poor, you have no room to get <laughs> what you can put on your table. Rescuing these children from the street is uh, also another big challenge because that willpower is not in them. It, uh, you have to join with them for uh, quite long to teach them how the importance of living that street life. Because most of them are used with that street life, hard life. And it is not easy for them to live that street life. Some of them, they are used with drugs. So it is not easy uh, to change a, 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 a teenager who is addicted to drugs. Uh, you may rehabilitate this child for quite long, but this child will not change, eh? will not change. But if, for example, you come uh, across the small ones, if you come across the small ones who are not addicted, then it is easier for them to, 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 to change. But the majority you find they are already addicted to these uh, drugs and it is not easy to change them and it is a very big challenge. This work sometimes it is not money-oriented activity. If you put money, you cannot assist these uh, children. But if you feel that it is a vocation, God is calling you to serve the needy in the society, then it becomes something easy for you. Like for me, uh, when I joined this work, I found that I can also give myself, I can also sacrifice my time and my, 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 my leisure at least to contribute and rescue someone who is needy in the society. And this has made many of those children who have completed uh, become good friends to me because I was not after money, I was after their souls. Money was, not, was, was a big uh, problem. Uh, getting funds, but any child that comes to Bosco Boys uh, is a blessing to us and we don't send them. We try to survive with the little uh, income that we have to, to sustain ourselves and make the life going on. Sometimes my wife used to complain that why are you abandoning us and leaving us, working too much hours with the Bosco Boys, I tried to work. Sometimes when I go home for holidays, I spend a lot of my time talking to my wife and my children that, yes, you people, you have a mother who is a loving mother, and you, you have parents, but outside there in the street, there are children who do not have parents. They need me, they need us, they need our prayers. So please, sometimes when you fail to to see me coming home very soon often, please try to understand that I'm giving services to a needy child who does not have a parent.